Hi, I'm Stuart Day, and I'm in town today out in Enon Valley, which is in Lawrence County, and we're at Beatty's Country Market. If you're in the mood for locally sourced milk, cheeses, meats, this is a place you gotta come check out. Let's head inside and talk to one of the owners, Karen Beatty. <laughs> Uh, my name is Karen Beatty and my husband Doug and I own Beatty's Country Market in Enon Valley. Our primary focus is on retail. We do custom processing for people that raise their own beef, pigs and lambs. We cut them to their specifications and smoke all the hams and bacons. We focus a lot on the smoked products. The snack sticks are a big item here at the store. And we smoke all our own bacon, our hams. Um, we make our own kielbasa, smoked sausage. A nice variety of cheese and deli meats, fresh cut steaks, pork chops, roasts every day, hamburger patties, uh, different flavors on that. We have ham loaf cubed lamb and lamb patties. It is a family-run business. If you come in here on any given day, you may see my grandchildren running around behind the counter. We love treating people like family. We love being in the community uh, and being able to supply what our customers want and need. Oh yes, I'm definitely proud of them. Um, they have turned this into more than it was six years ago. I'm Kayla Beatty, Doug and Karen are my parents, and I work here full time at Beatty's Country Market. I studied psychology um, at Penn State, and then I got a master's in higher education at Geneva. But I also figured out while I was in college that I like working here and just being here around family. This business couldn't be what it is without the community. Uh, we rely on them to support us, and we like to support them in turn, because that's how it, that's how it works. So I mean, growing up on a small farm, small farms are important to me. That was kind of what I did. Milked cows, um, saw my parents working hard, so it made me learn how to work hard. Bought the farm in 2000, and we milked cows for 10 years, and we've had a milk truck business in the area for 30 years, but we were out of getting out of the dairy farming business, and we just, this was for sale, so we decided to try our hand at, at the market. It is harder to find uh, small processors and we are happy to be able to still provide that service to be able to uh, bring in an animal that has been raised and we can cut it to your specifications. We're thankful to be able to do that for the local farms. We are here to meet their needs. If there's other things that they're looking for in the community, we'd like to be able to, to serve them the best that we can. Hey, thanks for following along today. Part of my job as a realtor is to cultivate, educate, and grow the communities I live and work in. The other part of my job is to help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. So please keep me in mind if you or anyone you know needs help in those areas. If you know of other locally owned businesses I should highlight in this series, please let me know. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the like button. That helps here on YouTube. Till next time, take care.